guys, welcome back to my channel. For, we're here today for some more stovetop yum yum. And the recipe for today is going to be stuffed bell peppers. We have yellow bell peppers, orange bell peppers, red bell peppers. I mean, beautiful peppers that I was able to pick up at my local grocery store. I mean, they're beautiful. Always remember, you guys, when you're buying peppers, they're not always going to stand up straight perfectly. But I'm going to show you a trick on how you can have them stand up before they go in the oven, which by the way, we are preheat your oven at 350 before we start this recipe. And now I'm going to take you guys over so you can check out the spices. Today we're putting a Mexican twist on bell peppers that will be stuffed. You don't want to miss it. Okay guys, we've got a pound of ground beef. I'm using 80-20 today. I have a quarter of a pound of ground pork mixed in here. We're going to use that, we're going to saute that in our frying pan with two tablespoons of olive oil. Today we are going to use olive oil. Let me show you the rest of the spices. Okay you guys, here we go. We've got a can of mild canned tomatoes with green chilies. And then on top of that, I put a quarter of a can of canned tomatoes with habanero peppers, which as you all know is very spicy. So you can use more than a quarter of a can. It depends on how spicy you like it, or you can omit it altogether and just use mild. We like a little spicy. Here we also have a medium onion. And we have, these are the spices we're using today, you guys. We've got a teaspoon of each. Cuban garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, salt, black pepper, chicken base. And we have two fresh big cloves of garlic. And here are our beautiful, I always, I always laugh because I love to call them my drunken peppers. One fell over already. So we have one, we have our peppers here. Look how beautiful these peppers are. So I de-seeded the peppers. So we have our little bowl to stuff. Now keep in mind, you guys, when you cut the top off, you will cut the top off with a small paring knife. Please, you don't need a huge knife to de-seed this. I just have a basic little steak knife. I take these, I don't throw anything away. I keep this, and this is what I do. I take the green from around it, and I add it to my bag in the freezer of the green peppers I already have. So I, that way I have more peppers. And each color of peppers, it's not only how beautiful the colors are, they're each unique in taste in their own way. So I will meet you guys over at the stove. We'll, I'll transfer all my ingredients, and let's get cooking. Hey guys, I'm back and this is our pan right here. I have two tablespoons of olive oil in it and I moved it away from the pan just so you guys know that this heats up fast and it does not resist heat. So olive oil, you have to be very careful. So this is already hot. See how it's opening in the pan? So we're gonna pour our onions. Whew. Get our onions in there. And we're going to Put our teaspoon of salt to sweat the onions, of course. Do that. Turn it. I love the smell of olive oil when it's cooking, you guys. Olive oil is delicious. I use olive oil a lot, but believe it or not, believe it or not, I love to use olive oil. Okay. Let me just fix that there so that way I didn't cut my head off. <laughs> I love to use olive oil here I'm putting my onions. Now we're going to add the meat first, then we're going to add our spices. This is the stuffing for our peppers. Alright, so here we go. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. So remember you guys, this is something that's, we're going to make a little twist. Your typical uh, pepper stuffed with ground beef. With a little twist. I'm going to put a Mexican twist on it with the chilies and tomato. And we are also going to use, I also have some fresh jasmine rice we're going to put into the mix. Just go ahead and mix it in with our meat and stuff our peppers with the rice as well. And we are going to top it, you guys, with pepper jack cheese. So this is going to be so scrumptious. I remember back in the day when we ever and whenever we my grandmother would make uh, she she made green stuffed green peppers one time I never forget I helped her and they would uh, typically used to use green peppers green bell peppers all the time 
And now we have all these colored peppers and they're so sweet and they're so, so delicious. I can't wait to show you how I stuff these babies. All right, so now we are going to add our spices, you guys. Okay, let's go ahead and throw our garlic in. The meat's already in the pan, so the garlic's safe. It's not directly on the oil, to the oil in the pan to burn. We have a teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of chicken paste, teaspoon of, I'm gonna say it right this time, onion powder. I always get them mixed up, sorry. Onion powder. We've got garlic powder, oregano, and that's all we're going to use for our spices. So we're going to stir that up. Oh no, one more, one more thing that we forgot that I actually forgot to put in the bowl that I mentioned in my spices is the black pepper, you guys. So we're going to put a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to eyeball it. That's good. Teaspoon of black pepper. Don't forget we have all that. Uh, once we, once the meat, the meat does not have to fully cook. The meat will fully cook in the oven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and combine this. I'm going to combine it. Look at these little onions. Just love you guys who jump out of the pan. It's going to bother you guys. Look at me. It's when you're cooking and your little, uh, your onions or your peppers, they jump out of the pan. You're like, really? It's so funny. So keep in mind, the ground beef is 80-20. We have a quarter of our, it was a two pound pack of ground pork. We only used a quarter of it. So this is gonna be a very meaty, this is a whole meal in itself, pepper alone. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine this. And once we're done with this, and I'm gonna have a nice bacon Caesar salad to go with it. I'm not going to make fresh Caesar dressing or anything like that because I've been working all day and I'm tired and I'm sure you guys can understand. So I'm stirring this up in here. When I come back, wait, before that, hang on a second you guys. When I come back you guys, we are going to add those tomatoes and green chilies with the habaneros. I'm gonna mix it in here. Then I'm gonna have a big bowl with my all my meat, all my ingredients, the tomato, the rice, and we're gonna mix it all up and we're together we're gonna stuff the peppers and you don't wanna miss it. Okay you guys, so I lowered my camera and you can only see half of my face, but I wanna show you guys how I make these peppers stand up. So I have two little square baking pans, anything non-stick. Grab a piece of foil, and I'm the queen of canola spray. So I always spray the foil. Think I always think everything's going to stick. So just in case, I, you can do that. You can spray it. You grab your peppers with a piece of foil, and look at that. Look how beautiful that is. So let's do it together. I'm going to show you guys, okay? Here's my pan right here. And we have a little... I'm going to move it like this. Kind of move your peppers around. Move your peppers around with your foil. Just put it in there so we can have them stand up straight. See that? So we're good. It's perfect. So we've got, they're a little bit different sizes, so we'll give, we'll give John the big pepper. <laughs> He'll love the big pepper. Let me show you the mix. You guys, if you have any of this mix left over, I've got the ground beef, the pork, the rice, the tomatoes. I mean, this fully cooked. I mean, I checked it and it was fully cooked. Our ground beef, it cooks fast. Anything ground will cook fast. So we cooked it. So what I did was I grabbed a little spoon to taste it, see if I was missing any salt or any, I always check and we are not. So if you have any of this stuffing left over, listen, you guys, this is delicious even without the pepper. That's how delicious this is. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move all of this and we are gonna put our pan right there, our big bowl. And I'm just going to grab a small little spatula. You guys remember the baby spatula? Do you guys remember my little spatula that I always like to use for most of my recipes? Like my three bean chili recipe up here. You guys remember this little spatula? Oh my God. So I'm gonna take some, we use a small one because remember this wooden spoon, let me show you. See, the difference is it's a lot easier to stuff your pepper with this. It'll be nice and uniform so you don't get like 
this whole mixture everywhere. You don't want this whole mixture inside your little cake pan, none of that. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we're done. Oh my gosh, holy moly, oh wee. So now remember you guys, you're probably wondering, well, the peppers, the peppers are gonna be in the oven for 45 minutes. So the peppers are gonna get soft in the oven. They're gonna cook in the oven as well. You can boil the peppers and uh, shock them with ice water for three minutes, but I, there's no need to do that because, like I said, the peppers are going to be in the oven for 45 minutes, so you really don't have the need to. I'm going to lower my camera right now, so you won't be able to see me, but you'll be watch, watching me stuff the peppers. So hold on. Me and my camera professionalism here. Okay, there we go. So now I'm grabbing a little bit of this. Make sure you stuff your pepper nice and stuffed. So keep in mind, you guys, another little secret I'm going to show you when we're right after I... See, I stuffed one, now I'm going to stuff the other one. Okay, so let's grab some more. We have a lot of mixture here, but that's okay, because we're going to use this mixture. We're gonna, I'm going to take this little piece of rice that fell in there. I don't like anything to stick or anything to dirty my pan. My pans always look brand new, because I take good care of them. You know, I don't like anything to stick in it. I always use foil and blah, 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 and all this and that. So I think that with these, with this leftover mixture, I might go tomorrow and pick up some, uh, uh, probably some empanada sheets and make some beef, some spicy beef empanadas, some Mexican style beef empanadas. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm a chef. I'm an inventor. I like to invent things. Are you guys watching this so far? If you have any questions, uh, if you have any questions at all, please always feel free to leave me a comment and I'll respond right away. I mean, there's a lot of curiosity as far as uh, my videos, so I'm putting a little more meat on that. My hands are washed, by the way, and clean, so I want to stuff this as much as I can. And my mouth is watering to make it nice and meaty. Okay, guys, so there we go. So this is our two stuffed peppers. We have two so far, and we're going to stuff the rest now. Can you guys see that? nice and super stuffed so once i'm going to stuff the other two now once i once you stuff the pepper we're going to take another piece of heavy duty heavy duty foil or regular aluminum foil and we are going to cover it and you're probably wondering why are we covering it well we are covering it because keep in mind that when you make a tent with foil listen I'd rather you <laughs> see while I talk. When you make a tent, when you cover it with foil, it will steam inside and it will help soften the pepper. So what we're gonna do is it's a 45 minute in the oven is what you need. So when we get to 35 minutes, we're gonna check it and then we are going to slather it with that pepper jack shredded cheese. Oh my God, you just don't wanna miss it. Another thing as well, it is a little bit hot. I did taste the mixture and you can taste that habanero. Once you swallow your taste, you can, then the heat starts to come up from it. Oh, I love it, it's so delicious. We are also going to throw on this once we're done, a dollop of sour cream. So that way the sour cream can cool down the heat of the pepper. If you do like it spicy and it also makes it Mexican, more Mexican. So here we go. One down, one to go. So I'm going to stuff the other two peppers. I'm going to cover them with foil. I'm going to throw them in my oven for 35 minutes. And you guys, you don't want to miss this. When I come back, we are going to check those peppers. And we are going to load them with pepper jack cheese. And soon enough, before you know it, I'll be... They are starting to look so freaking beautiful. Now, I am going to add my... Pepper cheese. Tasting. Hey guys, I'm back for a minute and I pulled my peppers out of the oven. Oh my God, look at these peppers. Me and my camera skills, pepper jack cheese. Remember you can use, you can substitute this, you can use mozzarella, you can use whatever you like. This pepper jack cheese is so good, it's a little spicy, oh my gosh. I'll have to be scrubbing my pans, but I'm okay with that. It's non-stick, so it should be good. So we're going to put a little cheese. Oh, 
Now the secret to this deliciousness, these peppers, you could smell the peppers. You can smell the sweetness of the peppers. The peppers are soft. So now I'm gonna take this off. Our foil, we're gonna take our foil off. And we're gonna put them in just like this in the oven. What I did was I bumped my oven up to 485. So that way the top, the cheese can bubble. The cheese will bubble and it'll brown and it'll brown the outside. It'll make an outside crust to the peppers. Oh my God. I can't wait, you guys. So I'm going to put them in the oven right now for about another 10 minutes. And oh my God, they're going to be so beautiful and so delicious. And when I come back, we are going to taste. You don't want to miss it. I'm back, you guys. And the sweet pepper smell in this house is driving me insane. Our peppers are ready to take out of the oven. And when you see this, oh my God, it's so incredible. Okay, let me get my little towel. Actually, I'm going to get my little, uh, my little glove to show you. <laughs> Here is my glove. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh, my Lord. Look at these peppers. Oh my God, the smell in here is driving me insane, you guys. Well, my mouth is watering right now. Okay, guys, I'm back and we're ready to taste. Oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm, might forget and grab this hot. So now the good thing about using a nonstick pan is remember how the cheese fell over on the sides a little bit? Look, we have some little burnt pepper jack crisps. I tried a little piece and they're pretty, um, pretty sour. I want to show you real quick what I'm going to taste. Look at my little dollop of sour cream. And yes, I used a little dollop. In my chili video, I had like a super dollop. So. Not now though. <laughs> I have a dollop and you can use as much sour cream as you like or as much as little as you like. So now, oh my, God, my mouth is watering. The smell of peppers in here is making me crazy. I'm gonna grab a fork and a knife, and I'm gonna dig into it. I also got myself a little sample. I made a bacon Caesar salad. Perfect side to go with this. So let's dig in. Let me cut. I'm gonna cut here real quick. Oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Okay, let me just grab this piece of pepper, a, pe a little bit of the rice, the sour cream, and a piece of the pepper. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna taste now. Here we go. It's hot, it's so hot. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh my God. Guys, this is so delicious. The sweetness of the pepper, the heat of the chilies. The pepper jack cheese has a bite to it. The rice. Let me take a little bite of this. Perfect with a salad regular Caesar salad. Okay. Let me try it again. <laughs> Sorry you guys, you know I like to try it twice. Alright, let me get a piece of pepper. Okay. It's hot. It's so good. Mmm, it's warm. I cannot get over how sweet this pepper is. So delicious. Oh God. Look at how simple it was to mix this up with the minimal ingredients. Maybe a little side salad. Put them in the oven. Bake them for 45 minutes. 
This is so delicious and so easy to make. I really hope that you enjoy this. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you subscribed, thank you. And if you haven't, you can subscribe. And don't forget the notification bell. That way I'll notify you every time I have a video. And for now, I'll see you guys next time for another video. And we are going to make some stovetop yum yum. And as always, au revoir, los quiero. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>